Hello guys. So a big fan of mine asked me recently what kind of gambit do you recommend against the Alakine defense? And I was surprised by this question and I was like, hmm, I don't really know any gambits against this opening. But I'll try to figure something out. Basically, that's where the discussion between me and myself in the mirror ended. And I sat down and I tried to figure some gambit. So in this video, I'll be sharing some thoughts and some ideas that I came across and I want you to be the judge of this opening and tell me whether you think it's playable or it's a total trash and nonsense. Also, we will be needing some new name for this gambit, so feel free to share your suggestions in the comment section. And now let's see this. So e4, knight to f6 and I would like to continue with e5 harassing the knight so of course the most played move is knight to d5 and here after pawn to d4 what they usually play is pawn to d6 here i was looking at bishop to c4 and this is known as the balog variation of the alakine defense and by far the most played move is knight to b6 kicking our bishop away but i would like to keep it on this nice diagonal, so that's why bishop retreats to b3. In this position, if you check out the Leech's database, uh, most people capture this pawn on e5, and here is a move, queen to h5, which seems to be scoring pretty good for white. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it's not really a gambit, because right on the next turn you are going to be winning this pawn and you are not down material. <laughs> but perhaps this is a way to go. But I was just trying uh, to figure something else, something where you get to sacrifice some material. And I uh, was looking at this move pawn to c3. And the idea of this move is that you let them capture on d4, and afterwards you simply develop your knight to f3. And if they are greedy enough and capture on c3, now they are up 3 pawns, but <laughs> it's already a big blunder because of bishop captures on f7. The king is forced to capture the bishop and bye bye Mrs. Queen. Now I know what you're thinking, nobody's going to fall for this, but actually if you check the Leech's database, this position has already been reached a couple of hundred times and D captures on C3 is the most played move. Also from my experience, because I already got to play this position once, my opponent as well blundered this. But what are they going to play if they are going to play something else? Well, let me just show you, if they go for bishop to g4, looks like a natural move to pin this uh, knight to our queen. Here you have another funny variation and you can go knight to e5. And they cannot capture the queen because now bishop captures on f7 is checkmate. So actually they would have to go back with their bishop to d6. But this will grant you a much better position because of uh, them damaging their pawn structure and you getting a quick attack just like this. Alright, so let's go back. After knight to f3, if they don't blunder this, then the most played move is like a quite natural knight development, knight to c6. Well, here. I would grab this pawn on d4 and after this actually bishop to g4 is the most played move and this still gets pretty interesting because well now you don't have the option to go knight to e5 because it is already occupied but you can go knight to g5 <laughs> still offering your queen and now black has like a good move and that's to capture this pawn with their queen. And it will be like, I'm not sure, minus 1 or minus 1.5. But who is going to be playing this move when your queen is hanging, right? 
Uh, I believe most humans here will figure out that now the, the, this is not a checkmate threat because the king will be able to escape. But, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Perhaps they will just grab the queen and after this you can grab this pawn on f7 and you can repeat moves. Like this checks, this should be a draw. I'm just wondering how many of black players are going to be thinking uh, that uh, maybe they could try moving the king to d6 because well they are already up a queen. So what can happen to them? They should be winning easily. But after king to d6, this is actually winning for white like plus 4 or plus 5 and you can deliver this. Uh, bishop to f4 check. Now the only move is to block this with the knight and you can grab this knight with the check and well this is like uh, complicated but should be winning for white. So this needs like a further investigation. Let's go back. What else to show you? Like, what are the engine recommendations? How black should continue? According to Stockfish, black should play something like pawn to a5 or bishop to f5 is the top computer choice, I believe. But it looks weird because it just allows us to capture on d4 and hit the bishop with the tempo. And now the bishop should retreat back to g6. So, kind of mimicking the same thing that we have done with our bishop <laughs> which is funny i don't really think that anybody is going to be playing in such a way against you and if they continue with some i don't know like uh, normal moves like a knight to c6 and then like pawn to e6 well it it will always be slightly better for black, but white should have some compensation for the pawn. So that's it guys, let me know what you think about this gambit and if you would like to see some further analysis and maybe explore some more traps. For now, take care, have fun and bye.